Moving your body consciously every morning is a powerful habit that can change your life. What do I mean by that? We all move our body as soon as we wake up. But when we wake up to the sound of an alarm, jump out of bed and literally jump into the day, what we're doing is that we are already wiring ourselves up with stress signals. I have to do this, I have to do that in order to get through the day, I have to get the kids to school, rush to work, sit in traffic, furious. Your nervous system is already set up for stress right from the get-go. Adrenaline and cortisol released into the body, fight or flight mode activated. It is a very clever system we have, the human body. So what do we do? How do we not trigger these signals first thing in the morning? By starting your day consciously, by taking an active part in creating your day every day. Yes, initially it may seem like a bit of an effort, but your body and mind learn very quickly. By design, we are always eager to learn. It is when we lead an unconscious life, we remain stuck in a loop of habits that don't really serve us. So how we start our morning plays a huge part in how the day goes. So how do you practice this? How do you move your body consciously? There are various ways you can do this. Number one, simple stretching exercises, but done mindfully with breath. Without anybody, just on your own, with full presence. That's the key. That for this moment, I am not thinking of anything else, but just moving my body with the breath, everything else can wait. And it doesn't have to be long, just five to ten minutes will do. When we move our body in this way, in deep focus, we make space for ourselves and we help center ourselves, which is balancing for the body and mind. But remember, it's not just about doing the moves to say to oneself that I have done it. No, it's about the mindfulness. And another way you can practice this is going outside, which I highly recommend. Go outside, go for a walk, go out in nature. Why nature? Because nature purifies us and energizes us. But again, it's not about the number of steps, nor is it about stomping to say to yourself that you've done the walk. It's about the conscious awareness for this to work. That for this moment, I am not thinking of anything else, but just moving my body gently with the breath. Everything else can wait. And it doesn't have to be long. 10 to 15 minutes will do. Walking gently, enjoying nature, a smile on your face, connecting with your breath, breathing in fresh air, harnessing some natural light. Ah, just fill yourself with the joy and the elements of nature. This is going to calm you. This is going to ground your energy. And when you start your morning balanced, centered and grounded, you are going to be able to take everything in your stride because you'll be able to deal with every situation that comes your way in a calm, gentle way. And if you haven't been in the habit, then how do you cultivate this new habit? To start anything new, you need to have an intention, first of all. That's all it takes, that I want to change because what I'm doing is not working. If you are constantly anxious, if you are constantly overwhelmed or angry with yourself or with life and you feel unwell, you feel heavy, headaches, body aches, 
then these are signs to let you know that what you are doing is not working. It is time to change if you wish to feel better. And unless we break that cycle and cultivate something new, we remain where we don't want to be. So setting an intention first thing in the morning is your tool to help you get into a new habit. Because setting an intention will give the instruction to your body and mind to open up and be willing to start this new practice. So why does this practice work? Why am I sharing this with you? Unbeknown to many, we remain in a loop of heavy, stagnant energies. For example, yesterday you were sad or yesterday you were overwhelmed. You didn't do anything about it. You just did your day and went to sleep. The energies of sadness or overwhelm or anxiety or fear, etc. All the ranges of dense energies that you had triggered yesterday continue to remain within you in your sleep. Then you wake up, do the same thing again, and so it goes on, in a loop. Then as time goes on, the energies pile up, get heavier and heavier and more stagnant. And stagnation is against well-being. Everything must flow if we want well-being. Hence the powerful reason behind this practice of moving our body consciously is to move these stagnant energies so that we clear out our system before we get into the day, so that our system is more efficient for the day. Once you get into this habit, before you know it, you will realize that your nervous system has been rewired and you have played an active part in creating this new calm you. This is why it is such a powerful habit that can transform your life. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And the more you do it, it becomes a habit. And the more you do it, it becomes an automatic programming. I wish you joy and fun in this practice. I am grateful to you, for you, for your presence and for playing a part in the human spiritual evolution. I leave you now in love and in light. Thank you, thank you, thank you.